Biotin for hair loss, you may be surprised. Biotin should not be supplemented for hair loss in patients who do not have a confirmed deficiency of biotin. Here are a few facts about biotin. First, and I think most importantly, a vast majority of patients with hair loss has no biotin deficiency. Why? Because we get most of the biotin which we need from the food, and if we don't, then our own microbiome in our gastrointestinal tract will produce the biotin which we need for everyday life and for the hair. If we do take biotin, then there is a low risk of an overdose and a low risk of adverse events. But what is very important is that taking biotin may have an effect on lab results. It may have an effect on thyroid hormone levels, on cortisones, on the part hormone, testosterone. It may give a false negative result for a pregnancy test and it may delay the treatment treatment in heart failure because of lowering the troponin level. There was already twice an FDA warning indicating that one should not carelessly take biotin just for hair without the knowledge how it may interfere with lab results. What is your opinion about biotin and hair loss? Please leave a comment. Thank you.